juicer. And uh, as you can see, it sits flush on the floor. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mounting this one using uh, JB Well Epoxy. Um, as you can see, that spot over there, I just send it. So I'm going to mount this uh, army for transducer in that spot. But as I'm looking at it, this thing is not flush. It's not flat like uh, the, the hummingbird, which is totally flat. You know, so this is not totally flat. So I don't think I can mount this one using a uh, chip. this thing maybe I need to get um, some kind of uh, plumber or dough or something. Maybe I can use the play dough. Yeah. Surround that area and then pour JB well in there. And then uh, this will be mounted and flush. That's a challenge. But, uh, I think I can mount this guy. Alright, so get down there okay I just sent it down and I wipe it off and the uh, transducer is here and I wipe it off too so now I think I'm clear what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this Start squeezing out these two parts. Takes a long time to squeeze these things out of there. I think that's a uh, I think that's plenty. Now as well just finish it. Just let the whole thing come out. I still got that. Um, so this is the black color, and I still got that white color thing to squeeze. 
so and then I have to mix the two parts together uh, so let's do it I may be drowning this thing but it's fine meaning I probably squeezed it too much They say you're supposed to stir this slowly so there is no air in here, so we will see. Because you can't have air in this between the transducer and the fiberglass. If you do then the fish finder is not gonna be able to send the signal down or beyond the through the air bubbles so we will see Okay, I think that's about it. Where's my screwdriver? So I'm gonna mix the two parts. Remember slowly. Mix the two parts well to get the strengths. Mm -hmm. I may have over for this thing. It's okay. Let the two parts mixed together really well. I think um I think the two parts are mixed really well now. They say this thing is going to have to um, it's a quick set but uh, four to five hours but for it to cure it has to be somewhere around 24 hours 15 to 24 hours so i think we're almost ready there as you can see the color is blended uh, very nicely okay so we're gonna Prep this surface again. Then the way to press this thing down is you need to so you su you're, I'm supposed to like uh, push it down, like wiggle it down. so that I can get all the air out of here. So 
Okay, let's do it. Like that. Like that. Yeah, as you can see. Put too much of it. Like that. And uh, I think what I want to do is I also want to you know so let it sit let the uh, transducer sit The transducer is gonna work. So I'm pressing this thing down. But uh, it's gonna have to take some time for this thing to cure. Hopefully, um, the transducer will work. Okay, I'm just gonna get out. Okay, so there you have it. JD Well, original coal weld formula steel reinforced epoxy. Strength is 3,960 pound per square inch. Set time is 4 to 6 hours and the cure time is 15 to 24 hours. The cure color is dark gray as you can see when I uh, mix the white color and the black color and turn it into the green color.